Hi folks, Chris here from the Javelin Tech Team, and today my little buddy Kevin here is going to help us take a look at some new functionality within SolidWorks 2015. To do that, we're going to get Kevin ready for a party and give Kevin a party hat that's made from a lofted surface. As a starting point, I'm going to develop a plane using a sketch point that was created earlier within the guide curve sketch for an earlier loft. Once I have that sketch point selected, I'm going to create a plane that passes through that sketch point, however, is normal to my view orientation. Once selected, I have the opportunity to update the plane's position with reference to a changed viewpoint relative to the model. When I'm satisfied that I have the plane in the correct orientation so that the resulting curve will not pass through any of the hairs, I'll confirm the changes and get ready to create the remainder of the hat. I'll make a few pre-selections here as I prepare to use the intersection sketch tool to generate a curve at the intersection of Kevin's head and the new plane I've just created. We'll do a little bit of cleanup here to make sure we have some nice clean sketches in order to develop the party hat that Kevin needs. And then we'll move on to standard techniques for creating a lofted surface based on sketch geometry. As I finish up the party hat, I'll just mention that it's absolutely amazing the variety of content you can find on various websites such as grabcad.com. A gentleman by the name of Milan from Serbia took the time to model up this minion in SolidWorks. I'd like to thank him for his time in contributing both to the GrabCAD and SOLIDWORKS communities. As we finish up these last few details, I'd like to thank everybody for their time and attention, and I look forward to seeing everybody back here on the Javelin blog for more tech tips exploring the new functionality within SOLIDWORKS 2015.